Hello? Hi. Hello? Hello. Okay, there we go. Hello? Yep. Test, test. Yes, can you hear me? Shit. Okay. All right, got it. Well, how are you doing, Fabio? Not too shabby, thank you. <laughs> Not too shabby? No. no. I'm fine, actually. Yeah, a little bit tired, but it's okay. Yep. Same here. How about you, Oliver? I'm fine. Thanks for us. Cool. Hey, Yatsin. How are you doing? Cool, I'm, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. All right. Well, welcome everyone to Advanced English. This is Lesson 8 in Vocabulary. Um, the title is Techno Doping. Do you, go, do you guys know what that means? When the technology improves your uh, performance on uh, sports. Techno doping. That sounds right to me. Techno doping. Using, uh, using technology to increase the physical attributes of a human being. So a little bit of background on this term is that it was coined for athletes such as Oscar Pistorius. He was a South African athlete, and if you might have remembered, he had uh, these J-shaped carbon fiber official legs that allowed him to set the Paralympic sprinting records. Um, yeah, I, I remember some swimming suit too. There's a swimming one too? A swimming suit, yeah. That's the most that made you faster in the water. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think they, they banned them. There were um, uh, some peculiar suits that, you know, um, full body suits. And they were, uh, they were shaped like, like uh, uh, the shark skin. So the the water actually would flow better on on the skin, and but I think they banned them. Hmm. Banned them just for um, for for sports that were yeah. Um, yeah. yeah okay. Uh, that sounds really cool if you're just going in the ocean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to get to in, swim faster. In baseball, there are metal bats, but you. Professionally, you can use just the wooden bat. That's right. Yeah, only the wooden because bat. Because if you use the metal bat, you will break all the records. Yeah. So it will be like some kind of techno doping. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, those are all super good examples. All right. Well, um, I guess we'll go ahead and, and get started on the vocabulary we have. Um, the new words are, so we have the word alike. Do you know the word alike? Is like like? Um, yeah, alike is when uh, Things are similar to each other. Mm -hmm. a, a similar things are similar in a in the same sort of way. In the same way, like uh, my uh, my hands, <laughs> my hands are alike. Yeah, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> 
they're they're the exact same. All right. Next word, ban. We were just talking about that, right? Mm -hmm. Banned. The swimsuits were banned. They're not allowed in professional sports. And then, barrier. Does anyone know the word barrier? Yep. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's like an obstacle. Yep. It's something which doesn't allow you to do something or does allow you to go somewhere. Yeah. Like uh, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Yeah. It's just a very large obstacle. Very good. Okay, let's see. Boxing. What's boxing? It's a sport. Yep. Yeah. What do you use to box? I use use gloves eventually, and uh, yeah. Yep. Use your gloves and mm -hmm. your fists. Um. All right, I'm gonna give a challenging one to Oliver. How about broadcast, Oliver? Or Yassine? I can barely hear you, Yassine. Is there any way you can turn your microphone up higher? Oh. Well, Fabio, can you explain broadcast? Do you know broadcast? Yes, but the broadcast is to to transmit a uh, uh, a radio or a TV signal or uh, or a signal uh, in the air. Yeah. You, you you can broadcast a transmission or a sport event or whatever. I mean, we are actually broadcasting on the internet, but we are broadcasting. Yep, we are broadcasting. Um, a lesson over the internet on Colingo.com. You can also broadcast um, a sports event over the air for television. You can broadcast music to pick up on radio stations. Very good. Thank you. All right. The next word, champion. The winner, very good. I'm the champion. Like, uh, how about the song? We are the champions by Queen. That's a that's like a, a sports song. What's the what's the big Queen song that you know everybody has has playing at a. Uh. Like baseball or or football or whatever. Doom doom ksh, doom doom ksh. Me rock you. Huh? We will rock you. What? We will rock you. Oh, we will rock you. Yeah, she's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will rock you. All right. Controversial. Does anyone know the meaning of controversial? Anyone? Yasin? Oliver? I don't know what it's meaning. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. What about Fabio? It's uh, it's something which is not really uh, well. I can put it is uh, it's something which has a, a a meaning which is not commonly a knowledge between everybody. So it is uh, something which 
uh, different people have different opinion on it, on the definition, and yeah, very good. Controversial um, is something that is debatable. Yeah, or arguable. People might not agree on it. People have a different view. Good job. Let's see what's next. Uh, crash. Yeah, see, and what's crash? Think about accident. Very good. That's a crash. Or, uh, you know, the drums. You play all the drums, and then there's the cymbals that make the, the loud sound. That's, a, that's called a crash cymbal. Because of the loud sound that it makes. All right, next one is cushioned. What is cushioned? Flexible? Yeah, comfortable. Yeah, comfortable, cushioned. I, uh, I'm sitting on the floor, and it was, it was uncomfortable. So I grabbed a pillow to cushion my knees. So I'm, I'm, I'm now cushioned against the floor. So if we're going to have a crash, a car crash, it's very important to have airbags to soften the impact, to cushion the riders. All right, cool. Next is dedicated. Ala, hello. Yes, oh. hi. How are you doing? Hi, thank you. How are you? I am good. I've got a quick question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you know the meaning of dedicated? Yes. Um, should I give you an example or a yes, definition? Yes, please. Yeah, definition and example is good. <clears throat> okay, yeah. When you devote your time and your work and your life for something, it's, um, for example, uh, a musician um, dedicate his uh, life for his music, for example. Yeah, very good. Dedication is in investing a lot of time and energy into something, like a music or sports. Yes. Thank you. Good job. And Fabio, how about dwelling? Dwelling. <laughs> uh, dwelling. Dwelling. Dwelling, I, th I think it's... Uh, no, I'm not really sure about it. There's something in my mind which tells me it's going into something, but I'm not really positive about it. I mean, I, have, I think it's that that's the meaning, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's, that's close. Um, so a dwelling is um, a house or an apartment or a place where you live. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like a uh, like a a cave would be a, a bear's dwelling. Okay, it's, it's like a, a refugee. Yeah, like yeah. bears sure. dwell in the cave. Okay, it's, it's house. It yeah, it's, house. Like, it's like a house. Yeah, yeah. Like my dwelling is my house. Yeah. Okay. Be the same. Yep. All right, Oliver. How about 
exposure. Um, to be in, in a place when everybody can see you. Yeah. Very good. It's I also. I, I, I'm sorry. I think I, I, I'm hearing sometimes Yasin, but the, his volume is really, really low. That that's probably why we're not answering to him because I sometimes I just I just feel he's talking, but you know his volume is so low we can't hear him. So. Can, can yeah. you hear me well? I, I can't hear Yasin very well either. I think yeah. the microphone oh, me, is... Me yeah. too, yeah. I, I can hear you well, or you, but Yasin sounds very low. Yeah, just, just give it a try. I mean, I th uh, yeah, I think the volume of your microphone is really low, Yasin. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You might be able to go into your control panel yeah. or your or your volume settings. Maybe for the icon in the right corner in the No screen. no 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 because it is not muted. Is is only really, really, really low. So Yeah, uh, you, you you can adjust the volume for that with the secondary button of your mouse. You just have to click on properties. Yeah, and maybe record, uh, recording properties. The and you have to, properties. to get the volume higher. Yep. Um, Do you hear my voice quite <laughs> clearly? Yeah, yeah, you can yep. hear me well. I can yeah. clearly hear you well. Hey, mom, Mamawood. Mamawood. <coughs> Al Tara. Tara. -ne. Tarana. Maybe he can't hear. Okay. Thank you, Yasin. Good luck. Um, exposure. That's what we we're we we're talking about. Exposure is um, yeah being uncovered for everyone to see. Um, but you could also use it in a in a sentence where, um, like maybe a famous actor is looking for exposure. You know, they want to be famous or more famous. Or maybe there's a a sports star that that's. And I'll give you an. I guess it's an idiom. There's a sports star in in the limelight. That means they're not so popular. And they are looking for more exposure. All right, how about how about Allah? Do you know the word gambling? Yes. To gamble uh, um, it means to uh, put a lot of money for something you are not sure if you win it or not. Yeah, or to put all your chances in um, in certain situation, and you are not that sure if you would succeed or not. It means to bet. Yep, bet money or something um, for uh, for a chance to win something. Very good. And the next one is giant. Very big. Yep, super big. Good job. Enormous. Giant. How about glory? That feeling that you get when you feel very happy for some success that you have. Yeah, being very successful, um, the feeling of being you know, glorious, super successful feeling. Uh, let's see, next one. Um, glove. That thing that you put in your head? 
You so put on get your... all your the call or maybe <laughs> for safety in the world. Point is called the goalkeeper use to catch the ball. Yeah. To protect your hands. So. Very good. Mm -hmm. Um gravel. Do you know the word gravel, Fabio? Yeah, it's uh it's like pebbles. Yep. Like it's d dirt, uh, sand, you know, the stuff you you usually find on the side of the road or you know in outside the porch, you know, if you, if you don't have a garden and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like the sand but a little more it's bigger, bigger than this. Yeah, it's bigger than bigger than dirt. Yeah. Um it's yeah. more like 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 pebbles, little yeah. piece of stone, about that big, I guess. Uh -huh. yeah. You can you can use rocks. it to make concrete. Yeah. So little little rocks. Mm-hmm. Very good. And uh, helmet that goes on your shoulders, right? Put a helmet on your shoulders. Well, not really. <laughs> You put a helmet on your on your knees. I, I don't know about your helmet, man. I, I usually put mine on my head, but you know, I don't know where you put your helmet. <laughs> Very good, yeah. Helmet. Protects the head. <laughs> I like the sound uh in football, American football, of when the helmets uh crash into each other. It's like a good yeah. What? Sorry. What, n not that I'm following it, but when is the Super Bowl? It's it's the third, isn't it? Yep, it's the third. Okay. It'll be the um, the Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens versus uh, the San Francisco Forty ers Oh, really? The Forty ers are the final. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to follow it, but you know when. Uh, and that that will give you just a rough idea how old I might be. I I just remember Joe Montana was playing for the 49ers, and that's that's the last memory I have about American football. That's it. So yeah, that's I remember crazy. when I was a little kid, I I liked the 49ers because of Joe Montana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was quite a character. Yeah, but then uh, I I really didn't watch it. Um, very much at all for a long time, but then uh, my girlfriend likes football, so we, she was going for Denver, uh, hoping that they'd make it. But uh, so we were we were watching some games, but they didn't. That the Ravens beat them. It's it's really funny. One of the things I I I noticed is that uh, the I don't know if it's just a Bay Area thing because that's the only place I I, I believe I've been. But I I noticed that. Uh, the, the girls are really into football, which was something that I, I really didn't think about. I mean, I, I met a lot of, of girls which were really, and quite, and sometimes quite more than, than the guys, which was... Yeah, yeah, it seems like on the West Coast, yeah, maybe there's more, more so girls into sports than, uh, than my experience in the East Coast. But yeah. Hey, Antonio. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I have a question. Do you know the word launch? Me. Not to be confused with lunch. <laughs> I think I have confused it. <laughs> it's not a tweet. It means like to a... start or begin. Go ahead, Antonio. I don't know. I think I have confused it with the word you said. <laughs> with lunch, it's okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Allah. Allah was right. To uh, to start. It's kind of like the launch of the Super Bowl will be the beginning of the Super Bowl. Maybe the official start of something. Yeah, the official start or something like that. But then also, you can launch a boat into water, and then you can launch a 
spaceship into space. So launch, you can launch an event, or you can launch an aircraft, or a boat. All right, next one. Participation. Participation. To uh, share information or uh, to share work or cooperate. Yeah. I'm gonna, let's see, find the exact definition. All right. So you guys know the word share, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So to share, the act of sharing in the activities of a group. So this whole class is group participation. Group participation. All right, cool. Uh, Antonio, do you know the word scandal? Uh, scandal, I don't know. Maybe I can guess it. <laughs> yeah, go for it. It sounds very similar to a word in my language. I don't know if it's uh, like, um, like, like much noise. Yep, it's kind of make people making a lot of noise. <laughs> people make a lot of noise about scandals. Um, so you're so you're close. How about uh, Oliver? Do you know? Sorry, I um, I guess something. The word scandal. Oh, it's when something causes an impact on the society and everybody is talking about it. We and have a negative uh, uh, side. Yeah. So I'll show the definition here. Scandal, like um, Antonio was saying, uh, make a lot of noise. So it's an outrage or anger that's caused by an action or event. So something that an action or event that people see as morally or legally wrong and it causes the public to to be outraged, make a lot of noise, be angry about it. Cool. Any questions so far? No? Everybody good? Nope. Yep. <laughs> what Fabio is silk. It's a tissue. Uh, no, no, sorry, not a tissue. Uh, yeah, it's because in my language it's very similar. It's a, um, uh, it's a fabric. That's yeah. what I was looking for. Yeah. There you go. It's made by um, uh, the. Sh no, it's not a the shell. It's made by yeah. It's made by a worm, but it's. Uh, it, when it, it, the, the it gazes one. himself into into silk, mm -hmm. and basically it turns himself into a butterfly, and you just unravel that cocoon, and you can obtain silk. Yeah, there you go, cocoon. <clears throat> yeah. Let's look at a picture of a silkworm. They're pretty weird looking. <laughs> They're like these little, uh, little poops. <laughs> and they I make, like, make I a like the shape. fuzzy thing. Ugh. It's not a nice one. They, yeah, uh, it's, it's it's a very nice material. Uh, it's quite yeah. expensive too. It's it's, it's 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 very, the the sheet of silk are very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. It, yeah. it is quite expensive, but it has some interesting uh, 
uh, characteristics. Like, for example, I, I don't know if you know it, but you can buy uh, silk gloves, which yeah. they usually used uh, under other gloves. So, for example, if, if you ride motorcycles in, in winter, it's, it's useful to have a silk globe and then you put your winter gloves on because it keeps you warm and it's, it's very thin, so the, the, layers, is, the layer is very thin, so it's, it's very interesting. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I've never, never owned um, any silk. Uh, other than maybe like a small piece of fabric or something. Uh -huh. but yeah, it's really nice. Actually, I think I had silk in an old jacket that I that I got as a gift. Um, I think uh, in the process of making silk from the cocoons, uh, they get to boil these uh, cocoons, right? They get they're wild. To boil them. Oh, they have to boil them. Mm. Oh, the, the cocoons? Yeah, possibly. And the worms already did or uh, alive when they do that? Well, the worms um, make the, co the cocoon and then um, because they are um, bred to be, to only make the silk, they, they can't fly when they break out of the cocoon and turn into a moth. They just kind of like lay on the table and, and try to fly. And I, I guess they just feed them to, to whatever animal or something like that. But yeah. So they uh, get to be boiled alive, right? I don't think they boil them alive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I want to make sure about this. Um... Does anybody know the? Do, let's 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 check it out. I don't know actually. Let's do a little research here. Do silk worms get boiled alive? <laughs> let's see what Google <laughs> says. So. Mm -hmm. The life of a silkworm is um, start as an egg that hatches 10 days after it's laid. The larva eats a lot of mulberry leaves. They eat nonstop for 35 days straight. They increase their weight over 10,000 times in those 35 days. Um, when they're fully grown, they attach themselves to a twig and begin spinning a cocoon, which are these things. Mm -hmm. um, that makes the silk. Uh, every silkworm will spin a thousand yards of silk fiber in just three days. And the silk forms, this silk forms the cocoon the silkworm will stay in to become a moth. So they turn into a moth. Um, and because they've been raising silkworms and farming them for many thousands of years, the moth is 100% dependent on humans. If it's allowed to live, which means they probably just kill it after it <coughs> comes out of the cocoon, it's born blind without the ability to even fly. It can't even eat. So it only lives long enough to lay about 500 eggs and then dies. So they probably just let them come out of the cocoon naturally. Um, and if they want it to lay eggs, they let it lay eggs. Otherwise, they kill it. Um, and that's where the tail gets sad. So they live just long enough to be a moth. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that that that's a pretty me that's a pretty shitty life, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know if reincarnation is true, but I I do hope I won't get I won't <laughs> be born again into a bombic swarm or whatever the name. <laughs> that's a that's so yeah, because it feels but, pretty, it pretty sucks. Yeah, they so. make <laughs> something so beautiful. I mean, uh, it's worth it. 
don't you think? Well, I guess it's the same thing as being a cow, yeah. or a pig, or a sheep, or a anything else that's farmed by humans. All right, we gotta finish the vocabulary. Have you seen the chicken? Yeah, it's it's terrible. They uh, yeah, will the chicken even get up? Yeah, they have about the size of a sheet of paper. Um, in the uh, so that's like a you know they have about that size of a cage, and and they're they're bred to uh, for the chicken breast, so they just sit on their on their chest and they can't fly um, or move or anything. They can and they they work. sear the they sear the beak off. They yeah. they just sear their beaks off. That's pretty there, awful. There is a a movie called Food Inc. Yeah, F Food Inc. Yeah. Is a uh, is a good documentary. Uh, okay, the next word um, is unprecedented. Never before. Very good. Unprecedented is In never you. done or known before. Never done or known before. Hey, Luca, how you doing? Hey, I'm great. How are you? Doing good. How about you, Louise? And Miguel? I'm doing okay. <laughs> Just living. Miguel, do you know what wool is? What is wool? Hmm. It's not like uh, the curly hair from sheep. Something like that. Yeah, it's uh, the the fuzzy part of a sheep. Uh huh. But not only the sheep. The uh, wool of other animals. Too. Yeah, the wool is I like think it's just sheep. Well, uh, here we have wool for the the llamas too. Yeah, there's yeah also alpaca um, too. Yep. But yeah, the sheep is the more common wool. Common wool, yeah. Cool. All right. That sums it up for the vocabulary. Let's go into, um, let's see. Let's read this article. Sports technology, because we're talking about techno doping. Is it unfair? So, can everybody see this? All right. Are the words big enough? Yeah, yep. It's fine to me. All right, I'm going to start with paragraph one, and then we're going to go through the line. If everybody could read a paragraph, that'd be awesome. All right. So, throughout history, competitive sports have been a source of glory for both athletes and fans. But the sports world is not without controversy. With gambling, drug use, also known as doping, and scandals now almost commonplace. <laughs> However, some people, or some believe, another threat to sports requires equal attention. Techno-doping. This is the use of technology to obtain an unfair advantage, to unfairly lessen the challenges faced by modern-day athletes, and to limit the field of competitors. All right, paragraph two. How about Ala? Okay. Um, some claim that the design of sports equipment damages sports uh, because it noticeably uh, improves athletic performance above natural athletic development. For example, in 1928, a well-known swimsuit manufacturer manufacturer introduced a uh, controversial uh, swimsuit made of silk instead of the usual wool, 
which may believe uh, led to the world freestyle record being broken. Eight years later, the, that same manufacturer captured or sorry, created another controversial swimsuit and an unprecedented 108 swim, uh, swimming world records were broken in the same year. Sports uh, writers and uh, researchers alike argue that the uh, occurrence of the performance improvement. Oh, I lost it. Um, sorry, I was moving it down. It? Um, I'm sorry. Are you that the occurrence? Yeah, the occurrence of the performance improvement at the same time as the la launch of the swimsuit could not be just chance. The swimsuit has since been uh, banned in addition to over in, uh, enhancing performance sports equipment. Technology may even make sports more dangerous, some experts claim. For example, boxing, gloves, and uh, head. Um, is it in the other column or? You need to to relocate the screen. Jack, hmm. where are you? Hello. Oh, cut. Oh, the picture is gone. Yeah, we lost the guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to come back. That's, That's my reading. Sure. <laughs> no, it just, uh, it, it seems to be disconnected. And uh, yeah. we lost the connection and stuff. I mean, uh, you want to come back for sure. Yeah, you got to wait a little bit. So, Anto sorry, Antonio, where are you from? Hello, I'm from Spain. Oh, okay. Cause, yeah, no, cause, I mean, I mean, because uh, I couldn't understand if it's your really family name, Luther King, so uh, I thought it was kind of weird. <laughs> yes, well, it, it was the first word I thought of when I, <laughs> when I entered this, this website. Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. I was just wondering because you know I, I couldn't I couldn't uh, think where, where you're coming from. From Spain. Yeah. Cool. And uh, you, Fabio, where are you from? I'm from Italy. Wow. Are you? Uh, if I may ask, are you a journalist or uh, an no, educator? No, 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 no. Why? Why do you say so? That's really um, interesting. Um, you have. Uh, you have this accent and this way of talking. You talk in a uh, calm voice. And it's kind of funny because Antonio yeah. asked me about this, about the same thing. Uh, the The problem is I have no idea where my accent comes from because I've been I've, I've been studying English when I was six years old for quite a long time, and then I've been worked and lived abroad in in the U.S. in in <coughs> in England, and I have different teachers. So I uh, I really have no idea what kind of accent I have. So uh, that's kind of funny. Uh -huh. uh, the way you you speak and the, you I think you choose a specific words and um, maybe this is why I asked if you are a journalist or. Okay. No. 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 I'm not. I I work. Um, I'm a, a private consultant in uh, information technology. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, I think that actually you have a strong British accent, like, that, and, your, and your English is very, very good. 
you you might be right because because uh, recently uh, that uh, I've dealt a lot with 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 English guys, so you might be right. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I was surprised because I thought you were British uh, okay, and you were cool. taking English classes. No, no. <laughs> hey, man. Nice to see you, hey. back. Welcome back. Yeah, sorry, my uh, my internet just cut out randomly. I was just checking on the internet if you know if the big one just finally strike your area, but he didn't. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all good here. So maybe it was a small earthquake. Well, I don't know. We had one a uh, year about a week ago. Oh, whoa. Yeah. All right. Well, did you guys get to finish the second paragraph? No, she got to a point where uh, you were supposed to scroll the page. But yeah, okay. So, uh, Ala, are you still there? Yes. So let's, let's start with a uh, for example. <coughs> Okay, uh, for example, boxing gloves and uh, head. Um. And head guards have resulted in more brain injuries. Uh, boxers are more willing to hit and to take a hit to the head because of the new equipment. Very good, thank you. All right. Thank you. Paragraph three, uh, Fabio. Uh, yeah. Okay, so such improvements in equipment design and performance in sports has also have had an effect on participation. Competitive sports in the 21st century require vast amounts of money. Athletes without enough money are unable to compete at the highest levels because they lack access to the technology that will make them competitive. A sports person starting out who has limited commercial support cannot compete against a champion supported by giant sponsorships deals worth millions of dollars. Money influences participation at all levels of, of all sports. Research carried out in 2001 found that in US households with a yearly income of less than $40,000, only 49% of the children played sports, whereas if a family earned more than 80000 Participation in sports rose to 73%. A key reason is the high cost of technology in modern sports. Yeah. It's, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Paragraph four, Luca. All right. Uh, however, there are those who argue that it is unfair to say that technology has had only a negative role in modern sports. Overall, technology has dramatically improved safety not just for the competitors, but also for the spectators. For example, motorsports, carbon fiber technology has greatly improved crash survival rates for drivers. High-tech track designs with larger gravel runoff areas and caution safety barriers have reduced spectator risk. And without development in helmet design, Brazilian F1 star Felipe Massa, who suffered a serious head injury while racing in Hungary in 2009, will not be still driving today. Wow. Yeah, I gotta have a good helmet. All right, five. How about Luis? Luis Antonio Dalamico. Hi. Would you... Uh, you can hear me? Yep, I can yep. hear you. Would you like to read paragraph 5? It is also argued that hyper limiting participation technology is in fact widening it. It is true that technology can add to the cost of equipment. However, technology is the very reason that sports equipment can be mass produced making it cheaper and therefore easier for wider public to buy. Technology has also brought broader variety of sports events. Uh, 
from around the world into our dwellings. 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 D E H. Cottage or mansion. 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 Technological advances include broadcasts of live and record recording events on TV, radio, and the internet, which means greater exposure to sports. There are at least 15 TV channels dedicated to sports in the United States alone, taking a single sporting event as an example. In, nine, in 2009, more than uh, 150 million people watching the Super Bowl on TV. Yay! Finally. Oh, let's save that for okay, someone okay, else. Okay, no. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Miguel, how about uh, the sixth paragraph? Okay. Finally, technology has brought about an increase in fairness in sport as well. Not only has broadcast technology made recurring sports more accurate thanks to video play playback facilities, but developments in timing devices have reduced the number of inconclusive Inconclusive, Inclusive results. results. Yeah, for instance, instance, the number of draws in track and field events. Technology gains have also made drug testing and sport for more comprehensive and reliable. So it could be said that rather than techno doping, technology is actually responsible for anti doping. Yeah, I can see that. All right, number seven. Oliver. Oliver. Hello? Uh, sorry. Oh. Me? Yeah. Could you read yeah. paragraph seven? Yeah, yeah. In sum, there are always two sides to every issue. And the technical doping argument certainly showed no sign of going away anytime soon. As, you, as for which. As for which side of the argument you support, consider how the fan or rabbit in your world Philip gold balls were still filled with fiddles. Tennis ragged craft from wood and swimsuit made of wool. <laughs> yeah, what if golf balls were filled with feathers? Swimsuits were made of wool. I don't think the wool would keep you it would keep you from swimming very fast. Can, All I, right. can I show you? Sorry, can I show you uh, a lit, uh, an example of technology applied to sports, which might be interesting? Just hold on a second, because we got some stuff around here. Yeah. Which is, uh, which is quite interesting. So this is, this is a racing glove. I don't know if you can see if everybody can see it. It's oh, a yeah. motorcycle racing glove. So it's got, it's got uh, titanium stuff around here. But the really interesting thing is what happens to the uh, little finger. If, if you see the other ones, and this is quite recent, I mean, I mean five or four years ago. Uh, if you see the other fingers, they're cut where, where, where your hand ends, okay? So it fits right there. But the little finger is cut higher than that. Uh -huh. And this uh, prevents, if you crash, it prevents you to, to, to snap your little finger like that because it's, it's sued higher so it can't possibly move and you can't crash your little finger because it's not, it's not moving. It brings the whole fingers over there. So I mean that, and, and that's just a small piece of plastic which is sued around here. So I mean that, that's just a small example of you know a, a small technology which can actually improve safety and security. Yeah, that's really good technology. Um, I got, I had surgery um, on this finger, uh -huh. um, and when I was in the room waiting um, one time, there was a guy that got into a motorcycle accident, and he broke 
um, his pinkies. Yeah, because yeah, th that that's one you always broke because they just flex like that, and you yeah. can't prevent them. And but they they were the the tendon mm -hmm. had had snapped and everything, so yeah, he just couldn't you know he couldn't bend them at all. Yeah, and and now basically the new gloves, the the pinky uh, is is sued at this distance. So if you crash, you, you, you can't move because the whole gloves come comes with it, you know. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I I think that technology um, is very good for sports. Um, how do you guys think? Do you do you feel that? How do you feel about techno doping, or uh, is it good or is it bad? Uh, how about Allah? What do you what do you think about technology yeah, in sports? Yeah, sure, it's a good thing, especially if it enhances the safety of uh, an athlete. Or uh, um, maybe we should also imply it in um, our daily life if we can. Yeah. Cool. What do you think, Luca? Well, I think it's a tricky question because at some point it may be okay, and at some point it may not be okay. I think that when so it, it depends on the on the sport too, what, which sport we are talking about. I, I know that many people who who get positive in the test, they just did for taking some some meds. For the flu or anything like that, mm -hmm. so it so it is. Uh, it depends actually. It's it's quite relative. We can be absolute about that. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that too. Uh, hey, Louise, what do you think? Uh, I think that the technology has two sides because uh, when you improve the technology in sports, you. Uh, Put this in, in, in how do you say? Uh, you have a, in the real, real life can be uh, you use in real life. You improve the the safety in, in, in or all the people in the world. Uh, but sometimes uh, some people use this. This uh, discovery to to I don't know sub 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 page sub how do you say uh, uh, using in wrong way to to gain an advantage yeah to gain an advantage but yeah. it's very important you you improve technology in sports because uh, uh, the industry uh, put a lot of money. In, in, in this, in, in yeah. This yeah, that's that's the one bad thing though is the cost of it. You know, um, sports can be very expensive, and if you're a kid and a family whose income is under forty thousand, yeah, it's less than fifty percent of their children play sports. But then, over an income of eighty thousand, you know, forty thousand a year sounds like a lot to me, but. You know, even eighty thousand—that's a, a lot, a lot. So uh, of course, uh, you know, all our kids are gonna have all the equipment to play sports. All right, we got we got one minute left. Um, you guys have been super cool. Um, time flies when you're having fun. This class went by super quickly. Um, yeah, just as a for the last minute, Miguel, do you have? Anything you'd like to add? Uh, actually, no. I do agree with Luca. Yeah, he said everything. I, I have a question. Um, mm -hmm. Why do why do they um, make it a big deal to uh, develop the technology in sports rather than in, for example, uh, in my country, the car accidents are. Uh, they are the number one killer here. Um, I mean, why why wouldn't they develop the, 